Today on Toy Habits Reviews, we have the Evil and Armed with Mouser Motu TMNT mashup in the spotlight. Toy Habits. And before we dive into the review, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits and we are taking a detailed look at the Turtles of Grayskull Deluxe Target exclusive figure dubbed Mousejaw and comparing him to his Motu Origins Trapjaw releases for a part swappability party. All right, and here is Mouse Jaw in the box, and we can see that the subname for him is Evil and Armed with Mousers. Now, Mousers are the mobile, offensive, underground search, excavation, and retrieval sentry. So they put an acronym as Mouser on the top there, but man, this box looks so freaking amazing. The colors are fantastic with the purples, and because this is a deluxe box, we get the illustrations of Mouse Jaw and his Mouser at the top here, and we can see that he is armed to the teeth with all of these accessories, and some being from the Build-A-Figure Moto Bato. And keeping with the TMNT sewer theme, we have sewer pipes running up and down the box. And if we look on the side, we can also see a fantastic illustration of Mouse Jaw with his Mouser, with his mechanical arm extended. If we look on the side, we can also see a very cool illustration of Mouse Jaw with the integration of the Mouser to his mechanical arm. Now on the back, we have a awesome illustration, and this is where we got the first tease of Tila coming to the line, which is amazing. There is a huge battle going on in front of Castle Grayskull, and if you scroll to the bottom, we can see a glimpse of the Metal Bato figure, which you can see all of the Build-A-Figure parts. Now, we're assuming that the Deluxe figures will be the only way that you can get the Metal Bato figures. So the Target exclusives will have the Metal Bato parts, and we don't think the Walmart exclusives will have them, which is great because these are a heck of a lot easier to find at Target. And we can see the Metal Bato parts that integrate into the figure. So this is one of four, and so we're expecting at least four Deluxe Target exclusives to complete the Metal Bato figure. All right, well, let's flip this guy around and get him cracked open and out of the box to take a look at the figure in more detail. And I also just wanted to make a note. Now, we don't really see a ton of exclusive figures in the Motu line, but the way that you get out the figure is just slicing this piece of tape on the side. And just be really careful if you plan to keep the box for your own collection if you save them. Um, on the inside flap, we see how the mouser parts attach to trap jaw. And if you take a look at the other side, you can see how the mouser parts also should attach to Trap Jaw's belt. So the way that you get this figure out is you just slide him out like so. And you can also take a look at the figure pack out as well. Oops. Oh, behave, Trap Jaw. And it looks like it also comes with an exclusive card, which is really cool because we've only seen these in the Rulers of the Sun line. Oh, geez, Trap Jaw, come on. All right, well, let's break him out and take a look at the figure in more detail. All right, and now that Trap Jaw is out of the box, we can take a look at the figure in more detail. And what I like to do is just go through the figure as it's packed in the box and look at the accessories later. So let's start off with the head sculpt of Mouse Jaw and the trap jaw part of this figure is encased in a white helmet with a red accent on the top. I love the way that they did the teeth just in a very simple triangular geometric design and the lower jaw is also on a hinge so you can kind of see what he looks like with his mouth open and closed. Now there's not a ton of movement but I think it gets the job done if you want to look at the closed mouth version or the open mouth version. There's a nice black paint app in the background there which sets his green face off from the white lower jaw. He also has really cool yellow beady eyes and looking at the side of the sculpt we can see how the hinge really resembles the first versions of the Motu Origins trap jaw and looking at the back it's pretty simple there is a nice thick crest on the top of the helmet 
which gives it a lot of character. And let's take a look at the chest armor. Now this is a unique piece and I don't think it's reused from any other parts and it has a really nice red strap going over the left shoulder and one tucking in around his waist on the left side. And we also have a piece of white armor that is reminiscent of the Origins trap jaw on the side, which has some nice detail to it. And taking it around to the back, you can see how the red straps integrate into this white piece. And it just looks like it has one point of contact if you want to remove the armor. All right, and taking a look at the mechanical arm. Now, while we're back here, there's some really nice triangles here, which kind of really tie in the facial sculpt with the mechanical arm, which is very cool. There are some other red details on the mechanical arm. So these tie in really nicely with its helmet and it just gives some color and some splash to this white piece that is not super detailed by itself, but the additions of the red really make it stand out a little more. We can see the triangles are also present on the mechanical arm for the front view, and we can also see just the articulation that Mouse Jaw has. So we can see his range of motion side to side, and there's also uh, up and down motion as well. The barrel of this mechanical arm is also detailed as well, so it has some sculpted on parts here that make it look like a very cool mechanical arm. And so they applied a lot of detail to this mechanical arm and also in the integration of the armor here too. Now, the white parts are a huge contrast to Trap Jaw's very dark blue skin. And when we get into the Motu Origins compared comparisons, you can see how the skin type differs, but his left arm is just a regular standard Motu Origins buck arm with a white wrist cuff. All right, and looking at Trap Jaw's belt, again, this is a nod to the Origins and Vintage Trap Jaw, but with a turtleized looking belt, which is very cool. And you can also see where the mouser attachments attach to the belt here, and you also have the option to remove it. And while we're looking at Mouse Jaw's rear end, you can see that he comes with a burgundy furry loincloth uh, that looks the same in the front. And let's move down to the legs. Now, the legs are a reuse partly of the Origins trap jaw, just colored in a different way. So we have the dark blue skin feeding into the black and white thigh pads. And this leg armor or knee armor is the same knee armor that comes with the Origins trap jaw. And I love that they included mouser feet on mouse jaw because it really creates a nice visual and really separates it from the Motu Origins figure. All right, now mouse jaw has a really amazing pack out, so let's take a look at his weapons and accessories next. And here we have Mouse Jaw's weapons and accessories. We have the Build-A-Figure parts to construct Metal Bato. We also have the Blast Effect, his mouser, and the collector card that came packed with the figure. So let's take a look at the Metal Bato accessories first because we can also use these as Trap Jaw parts as well. So he comes with a mechanical claw, which all of these parts that attach to the Metal Bato figure are reuse of the Roboto figure. So we have the axe and these are just recast in a light blue coloring here. We have the twin laser cannon and let's take a look at Metal Bato's arm, which is really neat. They put a lot of detail in this and it's really leaning into the Roboto Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mashup with the mechanical hand and also just all the mechanical looking parts for this arm. Now, some of the cool things that you can do with uh, the Metal Bato arm is you can also kind of make a really kooky thing. You can attach weapons and accessories to the gauntlet here, and you can also plug them into uh, the side, which has a really interesting look. And if you're cool with that, I'm cool with it too. Like, I don't know if I'll be displaying it like this, but you never know. As I get to know this figure and how he can be displayed, I might change my mind. He also has a really cool blast effect, and I really love the look of this and also the way that the blast effect catches the light. It looks more orangey and yellow in certain places. And some of the cool things that you can do with this accessory is that you can also plug it into Trap Jaw's mechanical arm so you can actually see what he looks like with a blasting torch coming out of his mechanical arm, which looks really, really cool. Some of the other things that you can do with the Motobato accessories and Trap Jaw is you can also attach them to his 
belt as well so you can come up with some kooky looking poses for trap jaw and taking a look at the mouser that comes with the mouse jaw figure we have a really cool looking sentry that resembles the one in the teenage mutant ninja turtles cartoon it also has a port in the mouth here and the jaw is also hinged so you can have some up and down motion with the jaw just you can close it up here or you can have it open like so revealing the port now also the legs detach too so you can also add them to trap jaws belt and you can just kind of see how the kookiness is shaping out here now putting the leg back on the mouser we can see how this plugs in it's just really easy just slides in and out and you can also put the blast effect that you put on trap jaw you can also put it on the mouser here so you can just plug it into the port and it looks like the mouser is ejecting uh, a lot of flame from the mouth so that looks pretty neat um, but wait there's more another thing you can do is you can also detach the legs from the mouser and actually plug this into trap jaws mechanical arm so you can give his arm quite a bit of length as you have the addition of the mouser plus the blast attachment so what the cool thing is about this is that this was engineered in a way that the arm can actually hold all of these accessories so it's not going to fall or droop by itself so it can hold a pose with all this weight on the end of it and I'm guessing some of the other kooky things that you can do is once you have this out you can also plug the attachments in uh, to the side here as well so man this is getting a little bit ridiculous but there are so many things that you can do with this figure speaking of which you can also take off trap jaws mechanical arm and also replace it with the uh, moto bato arm so he can have a kind of a frankenstein kind of look which is really neat so it's going to be a while probably before we get to see the metal bato figure if we have to go through four deluxe figures so this is just another way to display mouse jaw and finally let's take a look at the collectible card that mouse jaw comes with we have a very cool illustration with the blast effect coming out of the mechanical arm and the mouser below and then we have the other side of the card which just gives some details so mutagen master powers and also the mouser so i really love the rulers of the sun and how they put these cards in here just as collector items and they're really cool all right, and moving on to the comparisons with the first release of Trapjaw with the mini comic version of Trapjaw. I'm sure you're wondering if all of these parts are swappable. So let's take a look at that first. As you can see, all the visual differences here. So let's try and see if we can take off the arms and just make this swappable with the other mechanical arm for the first version of Trapjaw. And yes, they also play plug in really nicely to each other. So you can actually give this figure a lot of looks. Apologies the mini comic version to a back dive and because these are also using the origins bucks it's going to make this really easy to swap parts in and out unlike the cartoon collection figures which are using a little bit bigger parts and it seems like they have different ball joints etc so their swappability is very limited unlike the swappability that you'll have with mouse jaw and its origins figures all right let's take a look at the heads and just for a contrast let's put the mini comic head on the mouse jaw figure and let's see i'm sure he's going to take a back dive yes all right let's see if he plugs in yep and he does and so he shoots he scores just kidding and yeah you can just give him a different look um actually let me try this again um oh actually no he doesn't actually plug into the uh the helmet so he shoots and he misses so anyway if you're going to display it like this it's just going to have to rest on the ball joint here and let's take a look at the uh, see if the other trap jaw head um, will fit down here too so let's snap that one off and let's place this one uh, on the neck here and no it's just like the other one so yeah if you want to put the heads on you're just going to have to just rest them in place here which doesn't look too bad and let's see if the metal bato arms will uh, plug into these figures here and i'm having a little bit of difficulty and it looks like these may not 
plug in uh, to each other. So there must be some small difference that I'm not noticing in the arms here. So Origins was built on the swappability of the parts. So I think it's a big miss not to have these integrated. But that said, you can also probably put all the attachments on these figures interchangeably as well. And just looking to see if the uh, waists will swap. We have the belt taking a nosedive. Let's check out and see if we can actually put the, ooh, the version one trap jaw and made it with the deluxe figure here. So yeah, it looks like we might be able to, I was just kind of having to force it on there. So yeah, it looks like you can swap the waists with the figures. And wow, we have a lot of parts carnage down here. So you're going to have a good time with this figure if you choose to part swap. And that's a wrap on the review of the Turtles of Grace called Deluxe Target Exclusive Mouse Jaw. So let us know what you think about this figure in the comments below. We also have a still image review done by the amazing and talented Toy Sorceress. So check that out on our website at www.toyhabits.com. And as always, thanks for tuning into this Toy Habits review. And don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, we'd really appreciate it. See you next time.